Hi guys Adformers is here. Today let's talk about on why Barricade keeps surviving in Bayformers timeline. Barricade is a Decepticon who also loyal to his master Megatron. His job is to spy all the information needed and report it to his master. But sometimes he also joining the battle specially when fighting the Autobots. But if you notice in Bayformers timeline Barricade always surviving in in every movie. In fact that some of the critics says it's because of the plot armor. But what I notice is what Barricade doing is actually a strategy. Let me discuss it one by one. His last appearance in the first movie is in the highway scene when Bonecrusher was about to attack Optimus Prime. He take that opportunity to separate himself to the group to avoid joining the battle. After his disappearance in the first movie we didn't see him in the second movie and we saw him again the third movie. Which his last scene is he was blinded by Nest and blew up his foot and after that he is gone. Until we saw him again in fifth movie with his fully upgraded appearance. And his last scene is when the military attacking them if you watch the video you will notice he making the same move back in the first movie. Which he slowly separating himself to the group and after that we will never see him again. What Barricade doing is actually a smart move. First I notice is he will never join the battle if Optimus was there. That's why in the movie you will never saw him fighting Optimus or fighting if Optimus is nearby. Because he knows what a Prime can do. Another thing is Barricade must be a big fan of Starscream's motto. Sometimes cowards do survive. So in other words Barricade keeps surviving because he always avoiding the battle. Aside from that he is a ground Decepticon so every time when Decepticons will fall back I'm sure Megatron, Starscream and other will leave him behind. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Have a nice day ahead.